what's up everybody <laughs> hey we're about to do another challenge uh supercharge some corn with some strawberry fanta i got two liter actually four liters of strawberry fanta and 10 gallons of corn uh this is actually the same piece of property that i did the last challenge on it was kool-aid it was grape versus cherry go back and watch that video to see what flavor won that it was pretty much hands down on, on what flavor one. So we're about to ease back here. I'm gonna move that camera into some more thick timber. Uh, that way I'll possibly might get some daylight pictures. I only had one daylight picture back here on uh, on the last challenge I did. So um, I may or may not hunt here and try to shoot something. Uh, if I get a big buck on camera, I will, but uh, that's highly probably not pro probable but i'm just experimenting on some things and trying some new things out and you know i do know deer love strawberry and they will they'll seek it out not necessarily seek it out but they love something about strawberry that they love uh, i've had luck a lot of luck in the past on strawberry flavors so let's ease back there get this out here to the spot there's my camera to where i did that kool-aid challenge it is all gone but I'm about to move back here in this thicket. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and open my fannies and go ahead and let that fanny start soaking in that corn while I figure everything out. Smells good. you do it trying to fizz up on me let's give her a taste i don't know if i've ever had strawberry fanta pretty good boy We're gonna do the same thing to that other bucket. Let it soak for a second. And uh, pick a decent spot to put it out and put my camera. All right, I got a spot set up. I think I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it against that tree. Whenever you're, a lot of times whenever you're hunting bait, hold on. A lot of times whenever you're hunting bait, You can see I had some rice bran in here uh, back in October. Whenever you set your bait up against something like this, it'll kind of position those deer for a shot. How many times have you been hunting a spot that a deer came in and fed facing you or butt facing you the entire time? I'm not saying that he still won't do that here. But this tree or a log or whatever can help position that deer my stand is right up there and more than likely he's going to feed facing this tree more than likely not saying that he will but a lot of times you can use things like this to position your deer for a shot so i'm going to put my camera on one of these little trees back here put the corn right there and uh let's see what we get we'll check back we'll give it about We'll give it about till the corn's gone, just to see what happens. See what we get on camera.
All right, guys, here it is about seven days after I put out that fan of soap corn, and uh, I really think they loved it. I had lots of daylight pictures here, so um, if I ever wanted to do this again, I would definitely be using strawberry fanta. So just real quick, let's, uh, let's take a look at some of these pictures. Okay, there, there I am right there putting it out. And they were in there that night. I thought they were in there that in the daylight that first night, but it's seven o'clock when they found it and there's several deer in there. Keep in mind, I hadn't had anything bait-wise in here since, since October. So they weren't conditioned to come in here. That's why I wanted to move this camera from where I did uh, the Kool-Aid challenge. So it would be fair. It's taking a minute for these pictures to upload. Sorry about that. Don't pay attention to that little buck there on the left. That's a mock scrape I have elsewhere. Sorry guys, it's taking a while for these pictures to upload. Okay, there you go. There's you a daylight picture right there. The very next day at 7.30 in the morning. Don't pay attention to those. That's a mock scrape. Sorry about that. There you go. The very next day, that's at 10.20. Uh, I go ahead and tell you I did not have any bucks show up, but look at the deer. I might have had some little spikes or something show up. Don't pay attention to those three. There they are that very evening, uh, the very next evening at six o'clock. Um, I could have went in there and easily killed a deer, but I decided not to. All right, so it's pretty much the same throughout. And they finished that corn rare fairly quickly. I mean, you can see it's a lot smaller and that's on the 20, uh, only two days later. So. Plenty of daylight pictures. There it is, it's gone. Completely gone after two days, nothing left. And they continue coming to the spot looking for more. I didn't realize I ate it that quick. And they continue coming back and they're still coming back today. They're still coming back now looking for more, so I'll definitely be using Strawberry Fanta. All right, there you have it. Appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate y'all coming with me on this Fanta Deer Corn Challenge. Y'all give me some ideas if y'all want to see some more of this type of stuff on what y'all want to see, and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. God bless. And this video might air after Christmas, but Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, good luck to you this season, don't give up, it's not over, let's stay after those deer, you never know what could show up, you never know, I had a shooter buck show up last night on a mock scrape that I did, no idea where that deer came from, never seen him before, super mature, giant deer from around here, so y'all have a good day, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for coming with me. Hit the like button. Share this video. Y'all have a good day. From Louisiana. Redline Outdoors.